We start with a point. Hi, everybody. My name is Rob Bryanton, and we're back once again with the Imagining the Tenth Dimension video blog. Today, we're looking at an entry called You Are a Point at the Center of Space Time. And this relates to a blog entry published a few months ago called You Are the Point. It shows various ways of thinking about how you or I are each right at the center of our own version of the space-time universe, smack dab in the middle of the gigantic space-time bubble that physicists call the cosmological horizon. With this entry, I showed how this way of thinking can be extended up and down through the dimensions. And as we said last time in Flow and the Now, all of these different seemingly incompatible approaches make sense when we accept the conclusion that our now is really a constantly moving series of points within the fifth dimension. Each point is causally connected to the next, but the probability space of the fifth dimension shows us that there are always a huge number of potential what happens next points that we can't connect to from any particular position within our 5D space-time tree. One thing people have trouble wrapping their heads around is the idea that with each new point, it seems that the number of possible versions of our universe is increasing exponentially. This is not as daunting as it seems. Because all of these points are causally connected, with each new frame, there are always a certain number of what happens next points, which cease to become available because of the outcome that has just been observed. This is just as true at the tiny quantum level as it is up here in the macro world, because the two are really all part of a single continuum. To use a macro world example, if I lose my leg in a car accident, there are suddenly a huge number of next possible versions of the universe which become unavailable to me from that moment forward. Yes, there are new possibilities that now become available as well, but it's important to remember that all of these different possible but logically incompatible outcomes are not connected to our current 5D point. That additional degree of freedom to connect the Rob has two legs universes with the Rob has one leg universes is afforded by the next dimension up, the sixth dimension. By the time we're visualizing the dimensions in this way, we can begin to see how the sixth dimension in its entirety is a landscape containing all possible outcomes for our particular universe. As a point at the very center of space-time, each of us is not expanding our 5D space-time tree with each new action taken or each random outcome observed. Rather, we are navigating through this timeless 6D landscape where everything that can happen has already happened, right from the beginning to the end of this amazing universe we find ourselves to be in. To finish, I'd like to show you a video from my song that celebrates the idea of taking this timeless whole that for our universe is the sixth dimension in its entirety and treating that as a single point in the seventh dimension, continuing a simple logical process that began with a point and ends with a point across all of the spatial dimensions. And next time we'll be uh, talking a little more about We Start, the experimental video I published earlier this year. Till then, I'm Rob Bryanson. Enjoy the journey. Paul announced it with a gleam in his eye. Timothy found it a written on high. Sanskrit mystics, chakras too. Everybody says it's so it must be true. There are seven levels, levels to the universe. Seven levels, from seven down to the first. Small. As in geometry, no width or depth A place to start, imaginary construct The very first part Then comes the line, the first dimensionality The simple way, from point A to B The second is a branch, from one line to another A splitting apart, it's easy to discover There are seven levels, levels to the universe
was tied A line so narrow Past the picture Straight as an arrow Simple way From one day to the next A journey taken us from birth to death There are seven levels Levels to the universe Awesome.